Hi, this is Doug Rowland again. I've got a little game I want to show you that I built in, uh, or for Pro Presenter 5. Um, we used it in children's church. Um, it could really be used in anything. You can use it in a school environment or pretty much anywhere that you have Pro Presenter. Um, so the, the whole idea of the game, uh, before I show you how to, how to download it and how to use it, is just that uh, you put a picture as the background and kind of a picture that would be hard to guess unless you could see the whole picture, the whole image. And then there's uh, the game put 16 little numbered squares um, in front of the picture. Uh, so kids would get to come up one at a time and pick one of the numbered squares to remove. And then as you remove it, they get a guess as to what the picture is. Um, and, of course, the degree of how hard it is is simply going to be based on the, the difficulty of the pictures you pick. Um, so anyway... If you want to skip towards the end of the video and kind of see the game in action, it'll make you decide if you want to go through the trouble of download it and set it up or not. But anyway, if you want to download it, um, you can simply go to my web blog, which is droland, D R O W L A N D dot WordPress dot com. And right now it's the top, um, it's the top post or the latest post on the blog. It won't be. One of these days I'll get around to doing another one. Um, so if you want to download it, you would just simply come here to Guess the Pick Game. And I have it set up at my Dropbox where it'll just auto-download. As you click it, you see it moves over to Downloads. And uh, once it's downloaded, I know you can't see this, but uh, you click on the, the download itself. Double click it if you're on a Mac. And of course, I've already downloaded all these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to write over it all. But what it's doing is it's going to go ahead and import it into ProPresenter and open it at ProPresenter. Now, you'll see it all. It created a, a presentation in the library, and that's what we're going to use. So here's the idea of the game. There's, uh, I think I did 10 different. Um, slides in the game. So when you play the game, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on one of the slides and actually we're already in edit mode by default, aren't we? Never mind. So you would come in here, but you've got to be in edit mode. Again, if you close out of here, you're just in presentation mode. This really doesn't do you any good. You can show that all day, but you're not going to be able to play the game. So you want to come into edit mode again, right click and edit slide. So from this point, kids could come up and kind of guess, you know, whatever they want to guess, what number. So we have a kid come up and says nine. So then you just take out nine, then you click show, and it's going to show that on the your your main presentation monitor. And again, the same thing, they just keep coming up, call the numbers, you delete it, and simply hit show. I mean, this might look hard now. Obviously, if you get the right ones, then you can start figuring out real quick that it's an orange. And, you know, if you wanted to just, when somebody guesses it, you can come over here and click the X by the slides button. So that'll remove all the foreground slides, but it leaves the background intact. So you could, you know, display the entire image. And when you're ready to move on to another one, if you have the game set up, you just simply click... Uh, Show again, and now you're starting over with a new image. You just remove one, hit show, same thing. And eventually, obviously this is mac and cheese, and it's going to make it easy to, to figure that one out. Now, it, when it comes to making your own, because obviously, you know, we, we typically do this uh, when we're running in kids' church. We do it with backgrounds that kind of go with what we're talking about, like, our church was doing God at the Movies series this summer, so we did kind of the same thing in kids' church. Now, we didn't do the same movies, obviously. We picked more, you know, superhero-type movies like Spider-Man and things like that. So we would bring in Spider-Man, like the characters from Spider-Man, and kind of... And you want to pick them not just a simple character where if you reveal one or two numbers, you'll be able to tell it's, you know, Green Lantern or something, or whoever the villain was in Spider-Man, but you would, um, you'd want to do it where you have to, you know, get quite a few of the numbers, uh, peeled away before you can tell what it is. 
But anyway, if you want to, let's just say on this one, I don't even remember what image background image is here, but let's just say we wanted to make that one cheese pizza. So you just come down here to a, one of your images, and obviously you wouldn't want to click it like that to show it on the screen, but you would just click it and drag it up here and drop it. And now this image is going to be the cheese pizza that you just dropped on there. And if you want to make the, the next one colored pencils or whatever, and you do that, show it, and now we're back at the color pencils. And again, it's just any image you can come up with. Um, this is just a simple game. Obviously, if you get through with all these and you want to do it again, the easiest way to do it is going to be to the come to the guess the pick game that we just downloaded here, right click on it, delete it, and it's gone from here. But now we can come back over to where we downloaded earlier, double click it, and it's going to bring it back in. And now we're starting over with fresh boards. I mean, obviously you could delete a couple of these, show, delete, show, and then go edit, undo, delete, edit, undo, delete. But obviously when you're five or six <laughs> or more uh, game pieces in, uh, that's going to be quite a, quite a bit to... Uh, to get that done. So anyway, just a simple game. Uh, it's free to download and free to play with. Um, I will say if you wanted to customize it a little bit, I did include the the Photoshop file which I used to make the um, the images here that have the numbers on them. If you want to customize it and put your logo in the corner or you know put your logo in the circle and put the number over, do something to customize it for your your church or your kids ministry that'd be totally fine um, again I'm not trying to make any money off of this I'm just trying to uh, I did something to try to help my wife and uh, do some cheap easy games and just happy to share them and I hope somebody gets some benefit out of them but if you do and if you have any issues please let me know or if it works great please let me know and I'm working on a, another version of this game that will also be um, the same kind of design because we use this, but the problem is with 16 pictures, or six, only 16 images in front of it, pretty much it's hard to find images that the kids can't guess after removing two or three of the, uh, of the boxes. So <clears throat> I'm working on a version now that's going to have 32, actually I guess it has 64 because it's 8 by 8, um, 64 boxes. But <clears throat> instead of having to go through and have the kids automatically call them out, the next version will simply have the 64 boxes, and they will automatically start disappearing, um, not necessarily in a random order, but they'll just disappear, you know, one at a time, one a second. So it takes about a minute to get the board completely clear because obviously if you're doing it this way where kids got to come up and call a number and then look to guess and I mean, you're going to be sitting here for, you know, 30 minutes just trying to run through this one little game with 64 boxes. But anyway, I'll uh, put another video out on that game once I get it completed. So again, uh, please visit my blog. Uh, got a few things out there that I've made over time. You know, how I made a full-size Connect 4 game, how I've made a Plinko game for Kids Church. Um, I, some things we've done, we made some folks, some booths that we use as ticket booths. Um, I talk about how we use multi-projectors and how we can show different images on each projector and, and you know, different things like that and some of the other games we've done. and. I've also got some videos out here how to um, use some of the games that uh, Kids on the Move, Church on the Move uh, provides through their Seeds project. So check them out and feel free to like me and uh, subscribe on YouTube. Thank you.